Look good. Hi. Hey, Hello. thank you so much for being here. Tell me a little bit about yourself and um, where you are in the world. So currently, I've recently taken voluntary redundancy, come back to London, and I'm just exploring different things to do, actually, just maybe changing um, my life, not just my career around into something a little bit more attuned to what I'd like to do. I'm trying to figure out what that is as well at the same time. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, so tell me this. Um, when you joined um, Feng Shui and decided to embrace Feng Shui, what, what was the reason for joining it and for doing Feng Shui? So it was, um, it was the line that you said. So you were one of the speakers on a business course I was doing um, online. And it was that thing about you do lots of inner work and you read lots of books and you try and meditate and eat well, you know, all those elements. But... What about if the environment you live in is not energetically supportive? And that just made sense to me because I was like, oh my God, that totally makes sense. Why would you only focus on the inside when you know, you're know surrounded by the outside all the time and your home is where you are the most? So that made lots of sense to me. It just made sense, especially once you start kind of um, being open to energy and that everything's connected, it, it totally made sense. And that's why I kind of booked onto the course really. Um, to make everything as supportive as it could be so life would be as smooth as it could be knowing that you're not going to get rid of difficult things but you're going to make things as smooth as they can be yeah oh I love that and um, and tell me this what shifts and changes have you, have you seen like because you've done a lot of different transformations since <laughs> so since you embraced from today yeah, it's, I guess because it was just over a year ago that I did feng shui in my apartment, moved to Jersey, reached out again to feng shui my apartment I was in Jersey. And in that time, I guess I've shifted from someone that was had a good life, a good corporate job, earning good money, um, but wasn't quite... You know, knew something wasn't quite right, but didn't know what it was. And was thinking about exploring different avenues. And in that time, I moved to Jersey, which ended up being a magical place for, with magical people. It was great spiritual growth. But also um, opportunities came up, like the opportunities for romance. Nothing really took off, but it was a really, I think I needed that gentle opening into the possibilities of romantic relationships and realizing that I completely freak out each time anything comes up. But I think that's a good thing because, you know, sometimes you, uh, you have to slowly break down the barriers and kind of learn a bit more about yourself, um, which was great. But also in that time, um, the opportunity for voluntary redundancy came up. And to be honest, six, 12 months, two years ago, I never would have taken something up like that at all because I would have been quite fearful of the risk but everything just seemed to looking back had been building up in the direction so it um yeah the confidence to take the voluntary redundancy to give myself space to explore new things um and take it from there and then it's funny how things just unfold you meet the right people you recommended i speak to your friend rihanna she mentioned the conference at edinburgh i went to the conference at edinburgh met lots of great people that gave me lots of suggestions connected with people subsequent to that so many things to explore that I mean it's just one of those happy coincidences you can't take one step down the path and then other things appear that you could never even have imagined mm. I couldn't have imagined the life um, that I have now a year ago like it just wouldn't I would have thought that would be somebody else taking that big step taking the adventure having the courage to do it and Actually, I feel quite confident in it. I don't, I won't lie, they'll have wobbles, but overall I know actually it will be okay. So just kind of trusting it. But yeah, I probably would never would have had the confidence to do that and potentially wouldn't have been open to even the idea of doing something like that. Just taking that big leap of faith. So uh, yeah, it's been good. And that, I've also loved decluttering. I've kind of like, honestly, I keep decluttering. <laughs> I'm like, what else can I get rid of? It makes me feel so good. And the more I talk to other people, other people love it too. It just makes you feel so good. It makes you feel so light, so mobile, so adaptable, so flexible, which is great. I love it, I love it. Um, and what would you say to anyone who's thinking about 
feng shui and who do you think it would like suit and feel good for i think it's i think it's actually suitable for everybody you just have to be open to it and um I think if you're already exploring other things or open to other ways to supporting yourself, like you've tried everything you can and you just want some extra boost, this is definitely worthwhile exploring. And actually you spend so much time in your home. Like in the UK where you must find things to furnish your home with, it's, why not do it in the best way possible to support you and your life? Because actually when you're not at work or running around doing something, you're at home. Yeah. So why not make that environment as supportive as possible? And I liked the delivery of the course because it was gradual. It wasn't like an information overload. You had like a week at a time to kind of get your head around some concepts, work in one part of your home that you lived in. And it was a really good community vibe on, on the group as well. And everybody sharing ideas about, oh yeah, I needed to do this. How have you done this? And it was, it was lovely actually. It was a really lovely process and it's very incremental. It's not overwhelming. Um, and it's really practical as well. So, which was helpful when I needed to get like a barrel of liters of water out and you were like, I was like, I don't have an outdoor space. You're like, it's okay, it's just portable. I was like, okay, I can do that. <laughs> so that's really good, I think. You know, you don't need to like go all out and re rearrange your whole home. That's, that's not really what you need to do. It's just small changes you can make that are quite discreet. Oh, brilliant, I love it. Um, and is there anything else you'd like to share or say? Um, no, I just think it's, uh, it's a great journey. And once you start doing it, um, things just start to flow. Like if things weren't flowing before, things will start to flow and you'll just start to feel more confident in yourself and your decisions and things will, you'll start becoming more open to things as well, which I think is great because, uh, you get the things that you have to fix. And then I like the fact you have the little tiny things that you can do, which are more fun. Um, so, you know, you know, it's a great time to explore and learn new stuff and have fun at the same time. Oh, thank you. That's great. Thanks.